this video we'll be looking at systems of two lines. This is also called solving linear systems. Let's start with this problem. Bert and Ernie are 350 kilometers away from each other. Bert leaves his house and drives towards Ernie at a speed of 75 kilometers per hour. At the same time, Ernie starts driving towards Bert at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. When will they meet? So first, we need a few equations. And if we're using equations, we need some variables. Let's let D represent the distance from Bert's house. And let's let t represent the time that's gone by in hours. So I'm going to create two equations. One equation for Bert and one equation for Ernie. d represents the distance from Bert's house. Well, Bert starts at his house. So when we start our timer, Bert's distance from his house is going to be equal to the speed at which he's traveling multiplied by how much time has gone by. Bert is equal to, Bert's traveling is equal to 75t. Ernie, on the other hand, he already starts 350 kilometers away from Bert's house and he is driving towards Bert. So as time goes by, the distance from Ernie and Bert's house decrease by 100 kilometers per hour. So Ernie's equation is negative 100t plus 350. So we're trying to answer the question, when will Bert and Ernie meet? And to solve that, we need to use a graph. So I'll set up my graph and I'll put time along the x-axis, distance along the y-axis. I'm going to go up by 100 along my distance axis. And along the axis for time, I'm going to go up by 1s. I'll graph Bert in red, and I'll graph Ernie in green. And I think I'm going to start with Ernie. Ernie starts at 350 kilometers away from Bert. And he goes down 100 kilometers per hour. And he goes down 100 kilometers for every hour he spends traveling. And I can do this a few times to see the pattern straight line that I could use to connect this situation. So there's a graph that represents how Ernie travels towards Bert. Now if I look at Bert's equation, Bert, being a direct variation, starts at the origin and he goes up 75 kilometers every hour. and up another 75 kilometers every hour. And he keeps doing this for every hour that goes by. Again, we can connect those dots to make a straight line. And notice where the graphs cross. What does that mean? What does it mean when the two graphs cross? This is when they meet. When the two graphs are crossing, that's when Bert and Ernie are the same distance away from Bert's house, and therefore they're meeting. 
And we can see they meet at the two hour mark. Or they meet when they are 150 kilometers from Bert's house. Or even better, they meet at the point 2 and 150. Let's try another problem. Netflix charges $8 per month for unlimited viewing. Cinema Now charges a flat fee of $42, an additional $2 per month. Which provider is best? Can we justify our answer? I would like you, as you're watching this video, to try and come up with the equations for Netflix and Cinema Now. Pause the video, come up with the equations, see if you get the same thing that I get. Did you get an equation for Netflix that is similar to cost equals 8 times the number of months? And for Cinema Now, an equation like cost equals $2 per month plus $42? Let's use these equations to try and graph to find our solution. You can see I've put cost along the y-axis, the number of months along the x-axis. I went up by 8s along my y-axis and by 1s along my x-axis. And I'll start with Netflix, and I think I'll graph Netflix in a different color, purple. Netflix is a direct variation, so it starts at the origin, and every month I pay another $8. Okay, so my line's going to look something like that. Put my straight line through there. And there's my line that represents Netflix. I think I'll use blue for Cinema Now. Cinema Now, a little bit more expensive, charges $42. So maybe a starting point about there. And it goes up $2.00 every month. If it goes up two dollars every month then I know after three months I'm paying forty eight dollars. So again drawing a line through those two points would look something like that. And once again we're looking for the point where the two graphs are crossing. And it looks like that point is at seven months when you're paying fifty-six dollars. What does that mean? It means that we should use Netflix if we're going to only subscribe for less than seven months. And we would want to use Cinema Now for more than seven months. This point where the two graphs are crossing has a special name it's called the point of intersection. Or the POI. The point of intersection is the solution to summarize a linear system is a set of two or more linear equations. And when we ask you to solve a linear system, what we mean is find the point of intersection. or 
the POI.